there are so many amazing creatives around the world that are attacked and their work belittled because people on the internet are sensitive snowflakes. And sadly, it is happening again where a fantastic Japanese creator is now being attacked for his fictional character's view of slavery. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media so you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and live streams I create, consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube membership. Now, I wanted to start off with this Bounding Into Comics article, but it says jobless reincarnation author responds after Western critics accuse his writing of a nuanced slavery storyline as being a personal endorsement of the act. It has shifted to this over the past few years because it used to just be, oh, we can all agree slavery is bad, but putting it in writing sometimes add to, adds to the story. There is a lot of uh, fantasy out there that has slavery. But, of course, the sensitive snowflakes on social media, the people who are always outraged, have decided to say, well, if you put slavery in your work, that must mean that you support the act, that you endorse the act, which, of course, is absurd. As human beings... I think we can all agree slavery is bad. Slavery is not a good thing. And I ha shouldn't have to spell that out for people. But just because you put slavery in your work does, does not mean you are endorsing the act. But this is what these lunatics think, or at least what they're trying to push in order to almost scare creators away from using it. But it says the jobless reincarnation co-creator has officially responded after Western critics accused him of endorsing slavery for giving series protagonist Rudy a less than black and white view of his fantasy surroundings slave trade. This is so sad that creatives are forced to apologize because they feel like they are going to be cancelled. They feel like their work is going to be ripped off of shelves and that people are not going to buy it anymore. It's, it's just a it's just a sad situation all around, but it says this round of discourse arose following the August 14th premiere of the sixth episode of its anime adaptation second season, I Don't Want to Die. Therein, with the group in need of a third party to assist Rudy in teaching his magic fueled doll, making techniques to uh, the prince, Fit moves to solve the group's problem by enlisting the services of the company slave market. It says, uh, after meeting with a number of potential candidates, they eventually settle on a six-year-old dwarf girl, as not only do dwarfs have the skills and magical talent required for doll making, but certain magics are easier for children to learn. And she, of course, was sold into slavery by her parents. This, to me, doesn't really seem like anything to get bothered by or to get triggered by. But, of course, individuals online will find anything to be upset over because, oh no, it is a young girl. She is a dwarf girl. She, uh, you know, has had a hard life so far and you guys are enlisting her help. You guys are making use of a individual who's a slave. You gotta be cancelled. So the author said in an interview, Rudius doesn't have much aversion towards slaves, he acknowledged. He thinks that it's not necessarily the case that all slaves are unhappier than they were before becoming slaves. So while kidnapping is wrong, it seems that he can't outright call the entire slave system bad. He has more of a stance like, I won't impose my own justice on a culture I'm not familiar with. What is rage-inducing to me about this situation is the fact that not every character is straightforward a bad guy or a good guy and of course it's the protagonist so people want him to ultimately be the good guy but that doesn't mean that the character has to be black and white that's like saying oh you can't have a story uh, or content anymore that has a character who is so evil that they would enslave people that they would use slaves to you know their advantage in their fictional situation but of course if if you say that now oh no 
why would you do that? Why would you even use slavery in your book? Because that's so offensive. We are talking about fictional characters in a fictional world doing fictional things. Magic doesn't really exist, but of course, these people are angry at it. And what is sad to me is that this creative had to apologize. Never apologize for good storytelling. Never apologize for what you believe in or what you believe is going to sell. And never apologize to people blind, blinded by the boundaries of reality and fiction. I mean, seriously, these people who were outraged cannot take this, th this situation and go, wow, you know what? This is fictional. It doesn't matter to me if a fictional character wants to support fictional slavery. And recently, I also had to talk about another artist, um, you know, having to apologize over some of the outrage surrounding their artwork. This, unfortunately, is not like a new situation or a situation that's happened only once or twice. Um, but a s social media activist was offended by a Japanese artists whitewashing, alleged whitewashing, I should say, of, you know, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom's uh, characters. It's a fan art, and this is a fantastic fan art, but of course they said the Gerudo woman, oh no, her skin is a little too light. That's, that's inappropriate. That's offensive. You can't do that, even though, again, it's a fan art. It is pathetic that there are individuals out there who are so uncreative themselves, they feel like they have to go after other people's creations. It's okay to say, meh, I just don't like it. I don't think that this is for me. That's perfectly fine. You are allowed to have your own opinions. But instead, they try their very best to get people canceled, to have products canceled, to have creatives apologize. They get so happy when creatives apologize because they put fake outrage on social media. It's a sad, sad situation all around. It's sad that this creative had to apologize. It's sad that people were seriously attacked him, basically saying that you writing slavery is a personal endorsement of the act. These people are, you know, not going to go away anytime soon. They are Twitter lurkers slash X lurkers. This is all they really do. They look at situations and look at products and try to find ways to cancel creatives that they think have put content that's a little bit too offensive into their work. Um, but yes, this is the newest situation. Another author has been attacked by Western critics who have accused him of supporting slavery simply because the protagonist in his creation uh, has a very nuanced view of it, the act. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.